my channel and welcome if you're new here. It is Saturday, so you know what that means. It is grocery haul day. Boy, oh boy, do I have a haul for you. I actually went to several stores again. We went through all this produce and fruit last week. Since we're home so much, we're just eating a lot more, I feel like. So I had to stock up on a ton of produce. I made another trip to Costco and yay for me, I got toilet paper and a few other things. I got a new blender. I have so much to share with you guys. So if you wanna see what I picked up for the upcoming week, as well as what I'm doing for my meal plan and my meal prep, Stay tuned. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. So here's my Walmart haul. This week I didn't have to get a ton. I really wanted to stock up on meat, but I did find a new find, which I'm really excited about. So let me show you what I picked up from Walmart. First thing is I grabbed four pounds of the organic grass-fed ground beef. This time at Walmart, this was running pretty low. Last time there was an overabundance of this and no other meat. So it's quite interesting. This is my favorite. I really like this meat. Um, I did just order a meat subscription box and I'll share that with you guys when it comes in. I actually ordered it with my own money just so that I had meat on hand during this time but I'm excited that I was able to find four more pounds it freezes beautifully oh my gosh you guys it tastes so good so I grabbed four pounds of that I also restocked my primal kitchen no sugar added ketchup this is my favorite in the whole wide world I used the last of it and my Thrive order is not here yet because poor Thrive is just inundated with orders. The link to join Thrive is down below. You'll get $20 worth of free product. So I love their website. I generally order from them once a week, once every couple of weeks. So I'm just waiting for my ketchup to come. So this I bought at Walmart in the meantime. I will say that the Thrive was a little bit less expensive than Walmart. So that's pretty awesome. And then I grabbed my husband some more fruit snacks. These are his very favorite. These are pretty WW friendly. So I'm going to share with you everything I picked up whether it's for my husband or myself because we all eat different foods so I thought I'd share these with you guys just because they are pretty point friendly also my husband was asking for chili pretty slim pickings on chili but I was able to grab two cans of the Nally thick chili for him that way he has those on hand I did pick up quite a bit of cheese just because they actually had it this is a big pack of the sliced Colby Monterey Jack. This is my husband's very favorite cheese. It was 24 slices for about 350, so a really good deal. And then for myself, just to have on hand, I prefer organic cheese, as you know, but at this time, I'm gonna buy what I can get. This is the Sargento Ultra Thin Colby Jack. This is for me, it's one smart point per slice. I really like it because it's a full fat cheese slice. Even though it's thin, you still feel like you're getting full fat cheese and it's really, really delicious. And then also for my husband, some shredded Fiesta blend. He likes to make his own quesadillas and soft tacos and things on his days off. So I grabbed that for him. Also, I love the Applegate Naturals. This is their oven roasted turkey breast. This was a little under $5 at Walmart and I believe it's over $5 at Fred Meyer. So I just grabbed it to have it on hand. I've been liking making wraps with the La Tortilla Factory tortillas. I also like to have this on toast with avocado for lunch. So I picked that up. Also just some medium flour tortillas for my husband. Again, he does like to make his own little tortillas and things. So I picked those up for him. Also for meat, I did grab the Foster Farms No Antibiotics Ever Simply Raised Ground Turkey. This is as close as they had to organic ground turkey, and it was pretty affordable. I wanna say it was under $5, so I grabbed this just to have on hand. I'm really trying to stock up on meat in my freezer because that's the one thing that I'm still finding is pretty lacking at the grocery store, so I was excited about that. This was a new find, and as you can see, I have opened it. I tried these, oh, my goodness, are these delicious. These are the Fuel Snacks, and this is in coconut and vanilla. This was under $5 for this bag. It is non-GMO, organic, gluten-free. There's no grain, so if you're paleo, this is a pretty good option for you. You guys, these are so good. Here is what is in these. So they actually have really, really good ingredients. Their sweetener they're using is coconut sugar, so that's amazing. And here's your nutritional information. Five pieces is five, or five pieces. One serving of 10 pieces or one ounce is five smart points. I just had half of a serving. And with all of these nuts and seeds, it was pretty filling. So highly recommend. I'd never seen these before 
store. So excited to have those as a new snack. And lastly, two boxes of the or Annie's mac and cheese. My husband really likes this mac and cheese. It's organic. It's a little bit better than other mac and cheeses. So I picked those up as well. They'll last forever in the pantry. So that is my little Walmart haul. making another trip back to Costco. I was really on the hunt for toilet paper and as you can see, I found it and also a blender. I went on Costco's website to order it and it was back ordered so I thought I'd check at the warehouse. So I picked up quite a bit at Costco. What you don't see is a case of water, a case of Coors Light and a case of Diet Coke. So those three things are not shown but let's jump into this Costco haul. This is the blender I wanted. This is the Ninja Blender 1000. I've been having a lot of smoothies, smoothie bowls. My blender is just a really cheap like $10 plastic blender. It's really honestly a piece of junk. So I've been wanting this blender for a while. I did find it on the Costco.com website, ordered it, but it was back ordered for two weeks and I found it in store today. So I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that order. But yeah, $69.99, not a bad price at Costco. I found it on Amazon for a hundred. So really you're saving some money going to Costco. I also picked up another thing of nut butter just because I'm almost out and this is my favorite butter. It's so good, you guys. So I thought I would like to have that just in stock in my pantry. Same with my avocado oil. I just did a quick restock. I have about a quarter of my bottle left so that way I don't have to make another trip to Costco for quite a while. I'm hoping a month or so and I just didn't want to run out of, you know, some of my essential items. Also, when I'm picked up, another two pack of the avocado oil spray again just so I don't run out in the next month also grabbed another two dozen eggs I really really like these eggs it's only $5.99 for two dozen which is literally a steal so I decided to go ahead and just pick another pack up while I was at Costco these are literally our favorite mushrooms these are the organic mushrooms from Costco we love these they're $4.99 for this big container we love them roasted they're just really really good high quality mushrooms so I picked that up and I was so excited to see this four pounds woo -woo, of Meyer lemons and you guys know I love Meyer lemons in my water these are small which I like because then I can just have one lemon per day in my water and this was literally I think four dollars or five dollars such a great price for four pounds four pounds I paid $2.99 for one pound at the store so really excited to find that and then, of course, the star of today's show, toilet paper. So this was my big score from Costco. They actually were handing these out at the beginning of the store, and you could have one per person, which was just fine. So I picked that up. Also grabbed another big box of these LED 60-watt light bulbs. We just swapped out a bunch of bulbs in our house, and these are a great deal, $10 for six LED bulbs, and these will last years and years and years. So that was a killer deal. We bought the daylight last time, so this time I went ahead and picked up the soft white. Also restocked my organic butternut squash. We love this as well. We roast the squash with the mushrooms and usually some zucchini, onions, and we make this delicious roasted vegetables. If you've not seen my sheet pan recipe video that I posted last week, I will link it down below for you guys. Check it out because I show you a really good sheet pan roasted veggie dinner. That was amazing. And then there were literally two packs of organic strawberries left. One didn't look so hot, this one looks a little bit better, so I'm just gonna make sure that I eat these rather quickly. And this was a really good deal, $5.99. I pay, I think, $8.99 for two pounds at Trader Joe's. So that was a really good deal. So I grabbed those. And then I decided to get us some new bath towels because, you know, a little self-care while we're stuck at home. These are gorgeous, thick bath towels. So I picked one up for both me and my husband. We've had the same bath towels since we bought our house. So for two years, so over two years. So it was time. And these were $7.99 a piece. So really good price. And last but not least, I decided to just buy a big six pack of chicken stock. I used so much of this that it just logically made sense to buy it at Costco and it was about $11. So really good price, organic, cage free, all the things I like to see in my chicken stock. So that was another kind of stock up haul from Costco. My total was about $225 and that included the three items not shown and of course buying the blender. So 
here is my haul from Trader Joe's. I went there to pick up most of my produce for the week as well as my canned goods because they really have some of the best prices. So let me show you what I picked up at Trader Joe's. First I picked up these salmon and sweet potato dog treats for my dogs. I always pick them up a little something when I'm out grocery shopping. And then I got these, I know, I know. These are the organic mini chocolate caramel eggs. These are individually wrapped so that I can portion control these. They are 150 calories for three of them. So I'm going to figure out the points for one and I'm going to limit myself to one as kind of a sweet treat, but they have good ingredients for a chocolate and it's all organic. So I thought kind of fun to have these on hand for Easter. Don't judge, but I'm excited actually to have those. I also grabbed some salsa verde because I thought this would be really easy to make like salsa chicken for a quick easy dinner or even a lunch and this is mild so that's perfect because it's not super spicy and good ingredients. And then I grabbed some canned goods. I needed some pinto beans for a recipe as well as some organic black beans. So I grabbed both of those and then I've heard all about these and I wanted to actually get them and try them. These are the organic refried pinto beans salsa style. So I know that these are going to have points because they are not fat free, but I wanted to try them and I'm really not eating a lot of fat free food anyway. So I thought these would be a great pairing for like a taco night or a Mexican night. And I've heard they're delicious and they have great ingredients. And then I also grabbed a refill of my onion salt because I was running low. And I did haul this a few weeks ago. This is the Trader Joe's organic light whipped cream cheese. This stuff is awesome. I love the whipped consistency. It makes it really, really easy to use and to spread and it tastes really good. And of course it's organic. So I picked that up. I'm really liking this on the Ezekiel raisin bread. It's so good. Or on Western bagels. Yum. And then I grabbed some organic blueberries just so that I have those as an option for another fruit for the week. Also, I picked up some of the Trader Joe's organic acai packets. These are a repurchase for me. I love these because all it is is the acai. So I count them as zero smart points. And I like to add these to smoothies and smoothie bowls. Acai is an amazing super fruit. So they were out of these the last couple times I've went. And they had them this time, so I grabbed them. And also another staple in this house is the cauliflower gnocchi. I like this because it has nice clean ingredients. You guys, great option. If you want a quick, delicious frozen item, the cauliflower gnocchi from Trader Joe's is yummy. Also, since I was there and discovered that I thought this cheese was really expensive at $4.99 a bag, and it's not. It's cheaper than most organic cheeses, and the points on this are really good. You can have a quarter cup for two smart points. So I picked up that. This cheese too, delicious some organic cilantro. This is for a recipe. And then I grabbed these pizza crusts. These are organic pizza crusts, ready to top, wood fired crusts. I got these because I'm going to make pizza tonight for dinner. And I thought, why not give these a try? Here is your nutritional information. I do not know the smart points, but they'll be here on the screen for you guys. But actually these pizza crusts, for being a pizza crust had decent ingredients. They do have sunflower oil in them that's not expeller press. I don't love that. But again, for pizza crust, quick, easy pizza crust, they have good ingredients. Everything else is produce. So I picked up some organic broccoli florets. This is for a recipe. I grabbed another pack of these organic Persian cucumbers. I love these. They are so yummy and crispy and I like to dip these in my hope hummus. So I grabbed those a lime for a recipe, and then you know, you already know, a couple more sumo mandarins. Now these are $1.79 each at Trader Joe's, which actually works out to be a pretty good price. I don't, can't believe how expensive these are. If anyone knows why these are so expensive, leave that down in the comments for me, but I love them, so I grabbed two more. Some organic romaine lettuce for a recipe, and then I really like this. This is the Carnivorous Crunch Collection. It is not organic, which bums me out a little bit, but I grabbed it because I thought it would make a really good slaw. So I picked that up. A couple of organic red bell peppers. These things are huge and I need them for a recipe. Same with tomatoes. I always buy my tomatoes organic because they are on the dirty dozen. So these are the on the vine, which are my favorite. 
picked up a bag of teeny tiny avocados. You guys know I really like these because I can eat almost the entire avocado and it's still a great amount of smart points. I do not buy avocados organic because they have that nice shell on them that protect them from the pesticides. And lastly, I'm excited for these. These are organic beets. I'm gonna roast these up and have these as a side dish. So that is everything from Trader Joe's. My last stop for the week was Fred Meyer. Fred Meyer just grabbed a few things. It's a pretty small haul from Fred Meyer. But first I picked up some whole milk. I need this for a couple of recipes. And this is the grass milk from Organic Valley. This is my very, very favorite milk. It has, it's the best. It's 100% grass fed, which is what you want to look for. I also picked up some bread, some potato bread, three smart points to slice. Not bad, my friends. If you're looking for regular bread, this is for my husband. My husband wants mac and cheese for his lunches this week. So I grabbed three boxes of the Organi Organis, and he's organic mac and cheese for him. Also, I needed some ham for a couple of recipes. So I picked up two packs of the Simple Truth Uncured Cubed Ham. I need three cups, so I think two packages will be pretty perfect for that. Also, some bacon bits. This is for an up. Some uncured Canadian bacon. I'm making pizzas tonight with those pizza crusts from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna do one pepperoni and one Canadian bacon. Also some Simply Pesto, this is for a recipe. So this was over $8, and they do have other brands of pestos, but I looked at the ingredients and all of those were made with soybean oil, and I do not eat soybean oil, so this one is actually made with olive oil. So I went ahead and grabbed this one just because it has the best ingredients. Luckily, pesto lasts a long time, and you don't use it very much, so picked that up. A big bunch of asparagus. I'm just going to roast these up with those beets for kind of some roasted veggies. And last but not least, some organic 93.7 ground turkey. And this is for a recipe. So that was my little haul from Fred Meyer. So here's this week's meal plan. So this is the week of March 28th through April 3rd. Can you even believe we're about to get into April? Craziness. So today is Saturday the 28th. We go out to dinner every Saturday. It's the day that I use my weeklies. I'm not sure exactly what we're going to be doing, but I will probably do takeout or something to support a local restaurant. Next up for tomorrow, I'm making healthy ham and cheese ziti. So this should be really good. It's pasta, ham, and cheese all rolled into one. You guys will be seeing that video on Wednesday in my What I Eat in a Day. Then Monday, I'm gonna be doing turkey pesto soup. As you know, I can't go to Jazzercise, so I can actually plan a little bit more dinner recipes because I'm not leaving at night. I've just been doing my Jazzercise from home. Tuesday, we're gonna do leftovers because we'll certainly have some by then. Wednesday, I'm doing a creamy chicken and quinoa casserole. This sounds really, really delicious. Thursday, we'll finish up the rest of our leftovers. And then Friday, I'm gonna be doing turkey meatloaf muffin. So that's the dinner plan for this next week. On the back of this is where I write down my meal prep. So here's what I'm doing for meal prep. You guys will be seeing all of these recipes in on Monday in my meal prep video. So for breakfast, I have heart healthy overnight oats. I'm excited for these. You guys are going to love this week's meal prep. Everything yeah, you're gonna love it. Lunch, we're doing a quinoa taco bowl. I've really been liking quinoa bowls, so I've been trying to come up with some recipes that are a little bit more friendly on WW, but have really, really good ingredients. And then I'm making brownies for a dessert this next week, which I am super excited about. So that is what I am doing for dinners and for my meal prep. Now let's do a quick walkthrough of my meal planner. So this is the meal planner that I use. This is the Carrie L meal planner. You guys know I absolutely love this meal planner. It's beautiful, completely comprehensive. It's just really, really well done. So first, there are several tabs. You can see that there are five tabs total that are part of the meal planner. The first tab is the resources tab, and this is where you're gonna write down your favorite meal planning, blogs, what recipe sites, whatever you wanna take note of and have on hand. The orange tab is the inventory tab, and it allows you to inventory your freezer, which is great. You can write down the item and the date that you froze it. Also, your pantry, again, the item and the expiration date. And I've been working on my spices, so I wrote down all of the spices that I don't use that often and their expiration date. So everything's right here at a glance, and that way I know when I need to go clean out my spice cabinet. So I have really been liking that. The yellow tab is the meal plans. We'll come back to that. 
The blue tab is gatherings, and this is going to look very similar to the meal plan tab. Basically, you can plan any event, birthdays, holidays, parties, write down what you're making for the event, what supplies you need, and then of course there's an attachable grocery list as well for you to take to the store. So love this. And then lastly, there is a notes tab, and again, you can just make some notes. And then in the back, there's a two-sided folder, and I put my recipes for the week that I'm currently in, so there's the ham and cheese ziti, so that they're readily available for me to use when I am planning to make some dinner. So now let's go back to the yellow tab, which is the meal plan tab. So first, let's go to the current month. There we go. So first we have a monthly calendar at a glance. You can see that I do use this just because I like to have at a glance what I'm planning to make for dinner. That way I can make sure I have the ingredients on hand and I also have meat pulled out of the freezer. And then each week there is a weekly menu. So this looks very similar to the gatherings tab. You can actually plan out all your meals for the day. I just plan my dinners because I meal prep breakfast and lunch and snacks but you can go ahead and write those down and then again a detachable grocery list for you to take to the grocery store which you guys know I use that every single week so like this is this week so you can see it's gone because I take it with me when I go to the grocery store so love that love this meal planner again this is the Carriel meal planner my code here on the screen will get you 10% off you do have to go through the link and the link is down in the description box Click the link at checkout, enter the code, and the 10% off will be applied. Again, you do need to go through the link to get the 10% off, but highly recommend the carry out. I love it. This is my second one. I literally use this every week to plan my meals. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW grocery haul. Whew, we had a big haul again this week, holy moly, but we are stocked up on all of our perishable items for the week. My recipes, I cannot wait. I am cooking a little bit more because I'm not going to jazzercise at night a couple days a week, so I am having to buy a few more groceries to kind of offset that, but that is totally fine. We are eating delicious, whole yummy food throughout the week, so I can't wait to share my meal prep on Monday, so stay tuned for that. Sunday's recipe will be shown on Wednesday, and tomorrow I have a huge announcement for you guys, and I know you're going to be as excited as I am, so stay locked to my YouTube channel for tomorrow morning. Also, the best thing to do is make sure that your bell notification is turned on. That way, when I upload, you'll just get a notification that there's a new video. That way, you're not missing out, so make sure that's turned on as well, and you're subscribed. If you're new here, welcome. Stick around, subscribe, and you also turn your bell notification on. Also, give this video a thumbs up if you love these grocery hauls, and comment down below Hello. Let me know how are you guys doing first of all and what recipe are you guys excited to see? I hope everyone is doing well staying home not too tired of their family and kids and just hanging in there We will get through this this too shall pass. We are all here for each other. So hang in there my friends I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys Don't